up everybody it's Bobby today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the hidden tools and hidden powerful features within iMovie 09 that many people might not know about that make iMovie 09 such a powerful movie editor. People who aren't familiar with iMovie initially think of iMovie they think of it to be sort of like a watered down movie editor that is very simple that anybody can use but what most people don't know is that iMovie has a bunch of hidden features in it and a bunch of very powerful tools that can make it a very powerful movie editor. Now to access these tools when you first open iMovie 09, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to iMovie Preferences and then uh, check the little box for Show Advanced Tools. Now what this is going to do is it uh, pops open a bunch of advanced tools and it gives you a bunch more options when you're actually editing within the video. So now that we have advanced tools checked and showing, I'm going to show you guys a couple of the features within iMovie 09 that make it so powerful. Now, probably the most useful hidden tool, I mean, it's not really a specific tool, but one of the most useful features of iMovie 09 that is hidden at first is the ability to drag clips onto another clip currently within your project and be able to do certain things from that clip. So I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick. It's hard to explain with words. I'll just show you guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your clip in your project. Say you have this clip right here, and you want to put another clip over the top of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the part of the clip that you want, and you're going to drag it on top of this clip. Choose where you want it to go. You have to choose, so say I want it to start here, and then let go, and it brings up this menu right here. There's lots of different options within this menu. It gives you the option to either replace the clip entirely, replace it from the start. So say you just want to replace it from the start, as it explains, only uh, till the extent of the clip. You can replace it going from the end, replace it at the playhead wherever you uh, had your cursor when you let go of the clip you can either insert it to where the playhead is you can do audio only so you can just transfer the audio from whatever the clip is straight onto this one you can do a cutaway picture in a picture in green screen that's right in iMovie 09 you can even do green screen which I thought before I learned about all these hidden features I thought you had to have like Final Cut or some other expensive software to do green screen but no you don't you actually can do it straight within iMovie and it actually does a really good job so um, here is I'm just gonna demonstrate the picture in a picture feature so when you click this as you guys see, it it pops up with the little picture right on top. And now when I play through my clip, it's going to have a picture on top of the picture. As you guys see right there in the back, uh, my clip is playing right there. And you can change the features of this. Now, as you guys see, it's transparent. Like, you can see the clip behind it and only the textual and actual pictures and stuff is showing up. You can change all that. You can go into... Uh, video or yeah, video adjustments. You can change it and all that other stuff. Audio adjustments, clip adjustments. You can use the background, so drop shadow, all this other stuff you can do within um, this nice video editor. Editor. So that's always a nice feature. You've probably seen me do this before. You can also crop it if you want to make it bigger across the entire thing. Maybe just to this corner. You want to turn it over here. One thing that you cannot do that is kind of disappointing to me is you can't rotate clips within here. I mean, you can crop it, but you can't rotate, so that's definitely something that I wish Apple would include. Maybe you can, and I just don't know how to do it, but you can't rotate it this way. There's no rotate feature, but that's still actually a pretty nice thing to have, and it makes your videos kind of have a professional touch whenever you're using this feature. So now I'm just going to give you guys a quick demonstration of how to do green screen on the iMovie 09. So what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to find the clip that you want to have in the background. So you don't put down the raw footage first, you put down the background, whatever video, whatever picture, whatever image, whatever you want in the background, make sure you have that already in your clip. So I'm going to use this quick little video I made for my school. And so this is going to be my background video. So then what you're going to do is you're going to find your uh, piece of film that has green screen in it and choose which part of it you want to do. So I'm going to just grab this little sm small part right here, this four second clip, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it to where I want it and I'm going to click and then um, it's the menu is going to pop, you're going to let go and then you click green screen and so what it's going to do then is it's going to chroma key it now as you guys see right here I'm going to have to crop it because my edges aren't exactly perfect I didn't, my camera didn't cover up the entire green screen or whatever so there we have it now when I play through here I'm going to actually remove the audio from this too just so I can, um, for demonstration purposes. So now when I play through this,
So as you guys see, the green screen works fairly well. Now, I don't have an HD camera, so the pixels aren't as sharp. But if you do have a good enough camera and good enough lighting and a very straight, non-wrinkly green screen, then you can get a really great effect out of this. And so that was super simple. You didn't have to adjust the saturation or anything like that that you have to do within Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro. It's just straight, simple. You just put it in, click green screen, and it works. So that's just the demonstration of the green screen and how easy it is to do and how pow how much like power it That's just a quick demonstration of the green screen and how easy it is to do within iMovie 09. Now, another great feature within iMovie 09 is the fact Now, another great feature of iMovie 09 is how easily integrated your movies and projects will be with uh, all these different sources of media. So now with iMovie on 9, you can easily share your project straight to iTunes and iMovie on 9 will easily format it ideal for iTunes. You can send it to iDVD to burn it. You can format it for a media browser. You can upload it straight to YouTube, upload it straight to your mobile media gallery. You can export the iMovie. You can export it into a QuickTime. You can export it to Final Cut. So it's very easy to send your projects straight to any of these different sources. Now, the YouTube one is probably most useful for people watching this, considering you're watching this video on YouTube, and you most likely are a YouTuber if you're watching this. So um, what you can do is you can click YouTube right here, and then it pulls up all your information. Now, it will pull up the information from the last video you did. Now, it gives you a lot of options here, and it's really nicely laid out. Now, you can enter all your description and stuff like that, which is uh, obviously the description on the side of your YouTube video. You can fill in all your tags. You can change the title, choose the category, and put in your password for your YouTube channel. Um, and you can also change the size to publish it. You can have it set for mobile, which will be best configured for viewing on iPhones, computers, and straight on YouTube. So you won't be able to watch this on Apple TV, unfortunately. You can make it medium size. You won't be able to watch it on an iPhone, but you can watch it on Apple TV, computer, and YouTube. Large size, same thing. And you can do it on H, er, and you can have it format for HD. So it will export in full 1280 by 720 resolution, full or not full HD, but HD. So that's another nice feature that uh, YouTube has included, and it makes it really easy for YouTubers like myself to make videos in HD quality for their viewers. Oh, you can also have the option to make it personal or not, but if you're this is your first time using it and you see this little clip right here and you don't want it means, make sure you don't have it on personal because then nobody's going to be able to see your video on YouTube. So that's just nice that uh, Apple has included straight from iMovie 09 publishing. Overall, iMovie 09 is worlds better than iMovie 08 or 06. It's so much more visually appealing. Everything's laid out better. As you guys see, your project library, just everything just kind of works. Um, it's very easy to organize. Everything's organized right here in the sidebar of your events. You can switch this so you can have your events on top and your project at the bottom. Just kind of, it's, it works the way you expect iMovie to work. If you used iMovie 06 er, before and you upgraded to 08 and you hated it, which is what most people did because they Apple did a horrible job with iMovie 8, 08, um, you might be a little reluctant to update to 09, but 09 is definitely worth the money. It comes part of the iLife suite and it comes free on every Mac if you buy a new Mac. Um, it's just a great upgrade. I highly suggest it if you're a frequent movie editor and you're still stuck in uh, 06 because you don't want to update to 08 because 08 was horrible. I definitely recommend you upgrade to iMovie 09. Just take the time to learn it, and it's a great editing tool. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Add me as a friend on Techno Buffalo. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.